It's great to have you back at our academy. On this video, we'll tell you about the process of setting up a player inside the Paperhead software. One of the first things you need to learn is how to set up a player account. Thankfully, it's really easy with most PPH services. Today we're using RealBookies to explain how to set up players using their simple quick player setup tutorial. We'd like to thank RealBookies for providing us access to their platform for this lesson. Opening a new player account. The actual process of setting up a new player account is handled by the PPH provider. You simply contact your paperhead provider and have them open a new account. Once the account is open, though there are a few things that are necessary to complete, we'll go through the entire process of setting up a new player in this lesson. Setting up a player betting profile. After you open a new account for a player, you need to set it up prior to giving them login details. When you open a new player account, it will appear under the Player Management tab. You can view a snapshot of your entire betting sheet from this tab. From this page, you can universally change betting profiles, limits, and line types for every player on your betting sheet. You can also change what your players bet on. However, if you want to edit a specific player only, you need to click on the player's name. This will open up the player menu where you can set up an individual account however you want. Here's the information provided on each player in the table on the player management section. Player account number and name. The player account number can't be changed. It's automatically generated. However, you can edit the player's first name, last name, and password. The profile. There are 15 plus standard betting profiles that you can select for a player. This feature determines how many selections a player can bet on parlays and teasers, along with the payouts and odds. We recommend to be cautious with betting profiles initially. The last thing you want is a player to hit a 10-team NFL parlay that costs you five figures. It could break your business early on. Profile limits. The profile limits ensure your exposure is limited. There are a number of settings, 500, 1,000, 2,500, 5,000, etc., where you select an amount that's the maximum player can win on a single bet. You don't want guys taking shots on you and the profile limits prevent this. Here's an example. If you set up a profile limit for a player at $1,000, the most a player can win on a single bet is $1,000, even if the payout odds are higher. Make sure you set the profile limit. Line type. Again, there will be standard line type profiles that you can select from. In order to maintain a reasonable hold percentage, you don't want to offer a low VIG. We recommend using line type number one, which is a standard 20 cent line. Minus 110, minus 110 on major sports, full game and halftime. And then a 30 cent line, minus 115, minus 115 on special markets, props, and minor sports leagues. Limits. Make sure you don't forget to set the credit betting limits for each player. You'll be able to select a credit limit, minimum wager, and maximum wager from the player menu. We discuss this topic more in depth in our next lesson on credit betting limits. Player access. Set what each player can access on your gambling website from the player menu. There are several options. Status, enable disable player accounts. Online access, enable online access for a player. Enable sports, enable disable the sports book. Enable race book, enable disable the race book. Enable casino, enable disable the virtual casino. Enable live casino, enable disable the live dealer casino. Enable dynamic live betting, enable disable the VIP live betting platform. Enable parlay cards. Enable disabled parlay bets. You don't necessarily want to offer every player of those options. For instance, it costs extra to give a player access to dynamic live betting, so you don't want to enable this for every player. If the player is crushing you in a specific market, you should disable that market for them as well. That's all there is to it. Setting up player accounts as a bookie is simple when using a PPH. That's it for this lesson. Please like and subscribe to our channel to keep learning how to be a bookie.